some of us are so clear in our minds that there's nothing called government of national unity. <laughs> All that Kenya Kwanza did was to, to poach four members, or is it six now, from ODM, and taken together ODM members, uh, because this is also very important, a new massive passion for these things, uh, that's not the amount of government of national unity. So, the Honorable Raila Odinga has been our leader of Azumio La Moja One Kenya Coalition. He sought to come and explain to his colleagues what happened. So that picture you see in the social media is just that, nothing more. And we're able to explain to Raila that we cannot, some of us, cannot imagine joining what they are calling the government of national unity because one, it is not, and secondly, we have purposely chosen to desire, purposely chosen to be with the Kenyan people. And our yes is yes, our no is no. We say, as a meal, we are not boarding, we are not joining. So those guys who joined there have done it on their own and I think ODM have taken the time to explain. They will have a lot of explaining to do for sure. But the rest of us are very clear that we are not joining that administration. And so I thought I could take this opportunity because it's a matter that is troubling a lot of people. There are some saying, oh, Kalonzo cannot stand without Raila. <laughs> Please spare us. We have stood before. We have been misunderstood before. We have absolutely no intention of joining William Ruto's government. But we wish them well. Because again, we are commanded unto we in Romans that we pray for those in authority even if they're in authority illegally. Like one time, <laughs> I mean, Dada of Uganda, he was in authority of some kind. But we must collect ourselves and think straight and act straight. I have said that what the young Kenyan leaders have done, style Gen C, it's amazing. It's actually shaking the whole world. Because young people armed with a bottle of water, a telephone, and a Kenyan bandera, national flag, the symbol of our unity, went out there. And then of course, for people, other people panicked and brought in the goons. I also experienced some men in black. I had a men in black experience which still I cannot quite understand. Yeah, so these things we must understand are important. The change that the Gen Z have brought is irreversible in terms of governance. They don't even want to be in government or national unity. They just want you people in authority to follow the constitution so that we can all live peaceably with each other. I thought I could say those words, and I was going to address the media outside, but I wanted people to, to know that uh, our brother Raila came to explain those things, and we agreed, we agreed <laughs> that Azumio will stay as Azumio. Opposition is important now, more than ever before, and a very strong opposition and as he goes to the African Union, we are holding forth unapologetically. <laughs>